Hello, hello, welcome back to Overgrowth. Uh, so, I'm out hunting for squids, um, so I can have some ink sacks, and, uh, <laughs> um, uh, look at the drowned, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's a little bit of drowned, um, and there's more over there, and, yep, there, and, uh, over there, uh-huh, um, yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, that's normal. So, hello everybody. My name is Waddles. Welcome back to Overgrowth. Uh, today, we will be working on our skeleton farm. I think it's definitely time to uh, decorate the thing, get it all good looking and cool. And I was out uh, looking for ink sacks so I could do some black glass in here because I absolutely want to leave a window in this room. I think windows make things really, really cool. But we ended last uh, episode kind of quickly and I didn't really show off the thing, uh, but it is working. It's really, really cool. I can even uh, just punch hit everything here because um, Bedrock doesn't really have any kind of sweeping edge or anything cool like that. So uh, really, you know, a sword is just wasting things. But uh, over here, I have what I have so far. So I keep fixing up bows. The The chest was pretty much full of bows. And then over here, um, a little over a stack now, and then some arrows as well, which is really, really cool. But uh, we totally need some kind of decoration and, you know, nice-looking area here. So uh, we'll start with this. Um, I figured that right here we'll do, uh, like, a window, right? Like, just all glass floor to ceiling glass so we can see in the room and then I need to make sure that I don't put any lighting right next to the room because if I do that then you know I'm not going to get good spawns but uh the ceiling now I, you know I I love to use cobblestone and whoa uh and mossy cobblestone in these builds because I think it really like you know brings out that whole um spawner room vibe right uh so I'd like to rip the whole ceiling up and then come back in with cobblestone and mossy cobblestone. I should still have it down here. Yes, I do. Mossy and then cobble, which I have a whole chest of. Um, and kind of, you know, make it look like the, the floor is the ceiling. Like some kind of weird thing going on or something cool. Uh, I never did the back walls, though, like the lower portions, you know, with the stone bricks. So that's going to have to change as well. Um, and then, I, you know... We have this whole room that I've been digging out down here, and I've been trying to think, like, do I want to make a small room and say, uh, there we go, you know, that's our spawner room, or do I want to, like, blend this area out into what we already have? Because it wouldn't really make sense to close off this room, right? We already have a r uh, Can I pull this out? Uh, yes, I can. Uh, we already have, you know... Um, this big room and uh, closing it off again i don't know if that would really make any sense so um yeah that's kind of what i'm thinking but uh, i think i'm gonna have to go ahead and focus in here for a minute my pickaxe always moves no 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 um oh and uh the exploring episode so a few episodes ago now we went exploring yeah aha uh -huh. <laughs> i saw from the comments yeah i used the wrong pickaxe uh, i need to go back for the mycelium uh, yeah, but I have one more thing that I'd like to mention. So I did a video with my good friend and diamond patron, Chrysalit. Ah, uh, that's one of the reward tiers that I have for right now. And yeah, so I did the video. It was really fun. He's doing a series just like Overgrowth. So just like this, he's in a jungle and uh, surviving. And we made a really, really cool base. So I'll leave that on the end slide today. Uh, thank you to Chrysalit. And uh, you should totally check it out. It, it was really fun to, to build the thing and... Um, you know, I, <laughs> it makes me jealous. I should probably have, uh, done, you know, uh, buildings like what we did in this world. It would have been really, really cool to see, uh, but, yep. Yeah. So, uh, it'll be on the on slide if you're curious. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. You go away, guys. You, you skeletons. No, no, no. You, they are really trying. Um, oh, man. Uh, there's a lot in there. Uh, I need to be careful. Really careful. Aha! So, um... 
You know, I think we should do two windows. Um, I have the one on this side and then the one over there. Then I did go ahead and get most of the stone brick in. I did miss some over there, I see, um, and like really low, but I don't know if it's that big of a problem because I won't really be like, you know, sitting and staring into it. It's just like I can kind of look into it, so I'm okay with those minor minor imperfections uh <laughs> i know though i know uh i know it's there uh, but anyways um we need some dark glass um panes now so uh i don't know um maybe two stacks of the stuff and then turn this all into the panes i think that should be good and we'll fill uh i th think i'm good to just kind of fill this in so this will all be black paints to make this area kind of look darker and cooler like this and then uh, same with over here ah <laughs> i'm one short i'm literally one pane short now uh this torch is I, th I think it's this one causing it right um i i need to make sure the light stays really far away from these windows so it gets dark in this room yeah that's good uh now i'd like to go ahead and actually use bone blocks in this build as well you know what this is going to become my random stuff chest for a moment uh thank you chest now bones so i think bones are a really really cool block but they kind of don't get used as much as they should because uh they're a little expensive right like you have to grind a little while to get the bones but i think if we were to do you know something like this with beams on either side that could look really cool yeah yeah i think this is coming together really nicely i do need to do something over here though and maybe you know maybe it would be cool to add another window over here but this window uh would have to go like that is that that's even uh can i chop this out yes i can actually yeah we're absolutely gonna do this aha <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting really fancy here, but uh, we have a glass uh, thing looking into our elevator now, which I think is really, really cool as well, but the floor. So this is where my problem comes up. I, I don't really know what I want to do with this room. Like, you know, we have the skeleton farm right here, which is, is really cool and nice. Um, uh, maybe, you know, you know, aha, maybe we should break into there and add a staircase coming down now i don't know really where i could uh do that let's say uh, hmm we could actually do it right here if we were to you know change to this room and just say a door goes there um and then rip these out too i should be able to add a, i i think that would work um hmm <laughs> this wasn't the project at first but could we just do like a like a staircase going down this way? Aha. We can, but it'll hit my farming spot. I think that's the hmm. So maybe we want it to go down the other way. Like we'll have it go that way. Like down that way. Aha, this is where the 1.14 or uh <laughs> one point uh whatever uh building ideas come in uh so if we were to maybe take some andesite i'm thinking about maybe andesite on the floor in here but not 100 percent andesite but uh anyways uh we can take scaffolding aha uh -huh, and do that so this would create some kind of bottom part for my staircase here and the floor will be raised up and then i can walk right into the spider farm here and and use this thing right and then i can go uh aha more string cool uh but then i can go right back down here and then use the skeleton farm so everything will be connected now i have an idea though um i think we could probably do uh well you know what i said diorite a moment ago but now that i or not diorite never diorite uh andesite uh but if we were to take the floor oh aha uh -huh. i'm gonna have to get rid of some lava but if i were to do like wood around this thing and kind of like you know just have it go out randomly like let's say like to here you know just no particular clean order uh then i could maybe do like piles right like i could do a pile of rocks here and make this like really just a part of the mine instead of making a separate room so i have like a pile of rocks and then you know just open walking space and 
And yeah, something like that. I think that could be really cool. Then I could go around in this mine area that I've created and make beams, just random beams all around here, um, like supporting the ceiling, like it's an actual mining area or something cool like that. So I think that's going to be the plan here. I don't know how much lava I have around this area, though. I know this is like a really, really um, lava lake -y place, so... I'm going to definitely have to go over all of that. I'm not that worried about all of the coal here, but... Oh, you know what? Actually, mm-hmm, I can make piles of, like, ores, too. Oh, I need the coal. I need every single coal block that I can get. So, I'm making lots and lots of good progress, I would say. Now, I decided that I'll focus way more on the side of the spawner that is over here like in this area because when we're gonna actually you know farm the skeletons we'll 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 be over here so there's not much of a point to really decorate the other side too much or anything like that it's just a strip mine anyways i don't need to get um you know too fancy and crazy with things but uh, i have blocks kind of piled everywhere or i'm working on it right and then i figured we'd put our diorite trash can over here in this corner maybe with a scaffolding table to make things nice and fancy and then we absolutely need some kind of storage system i think sitting right here now the storage system will be i think really really basic i just want uh, some kind of shelf here so you know a little bit of beams going up and then Honestly, I could just uh, kind of crowd chests in here. I think that would look fine. And then maybe on the back here, um, hmm, maybe some like stripped wood. Stripped wood always looks kind of nice. So uh, like that. And then mm, my tools go everywhere in, in this version. It seems like when I switch tools uh, or switch items or blocks or whatever, tools like just get thrown away. Uh, but yeah, something like that. And then this needs to change too, of course. Now, overall, I just want, you know, like a really basic and small cave mine feel. So, I think I'll leave the ceiling alone. If I start changing the ceiling around, I think uh, the build will lose its, you know, its focus. But, uh, now we have a much, much better skeleton spawner. So, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, some final details and touches on the thing. And then, uh, we'll actually be good to go, I think. And I will be getting lots of levels. Aha, so here is pretty much the final build now. I'm trying to get, you know, good, like, variation going on on the floor. I added some buttons and, and everything to the floor, too, to make things look, uh, you know, a little more interesting. The floor is the most boring part of this build for sure. I'm just trying to figure it out. I don't really know, uh, but I went ahead and put some beams in along the side, and then I made sure uh, we really have just this, like, pile here so like no you know cutting through or anything i can of course jump over it but uh yeah i think the piles of the ores and, and stone um just kind of uh, close this area off but they don't close it off in any kind of like restricting way then i went ahead and i left this side open i don't really think i want to turn the spawner uh you know or the room over here into like for the spawner or anything like that like i want it only over here so i think i did a pretty good job i'm just kind of running around and slowly adding in maybe like more beams and and things uh that i think belong but i'm i'm pretty happy with the build so over here we have bows and then we have arrows and then finally we have bones so uh, I think everything is good and operational, and um, the details are pretty much in. I never did the floor or that low area, but I think that's fine. It's pretty dark in there, so I think that just about does it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Overgrowth. If you did, make sure you leave a like, uh, subscribe, and if you want early access to these episodes and access to the DangerCraft server and that kind of cool stuff, check out my Patreon. There's a link in the description down below to that, and uh, yeah, you might be interested in that. This has been episode uh, 18. I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.